What's up guys, welcome back to another video of Super Smash Bros. Ultimates. In this video, we are here at Dracula's Castle, which we just discovered in the last video. Dracula's Castle, man, I'm actually kind of blown away by that. Um, oh yeah, his castle is ginormous, so this is going to be a while being here, I can tell. Let's move forward, the first spirit, Redead, from the Legend of Zelda series, it's the... No, it's not the skeleton people. It's the people who would like grab a hold of you in Ocarina of Time. They're they make a weird noise. It's it's actually kind of startling and scares the crap out of me to this day because I was terrified of it as a kid. <laughs> the conditions. The enemy has super armor but moves slower. Stamina battle. The enemy favors down specials. All right, so it's red. Or we need it to be red. All right, cool. Let's just use stamina. And we're going against four Mewtwo's. So I'm assuming they're not going to be too difficult to take out. There we go. Yeah, that was super easy. I mean, they're not hard to take out. They're just weird looking. Read Dead. I believe it was just Ocarina of Time they were in. If they were in Majora's Mask, I couldn't tell you because I never played it. So, I believe just Ocarina of Time, but I could be wrong on that part. Alright, so, let's grab this orb-looking thing. You got a silver cannonball, if only you had a cannon. It's a silver cannonball. I've never really played Castle... Vi no, I take that back. I played one of the remakes on the DS. I don't remember... I think it was... I, what, I believe it was Sympathy... Sympath... Can't even say it. Sympathy of the Night... Symphony of the Night. There we go. I believe it was that one for the DS. I could be wrong though. And it's Houndoom, so I'll see you guys at the end of this battle. Hey guys, I just wanted to take the time to just say there's gonna be a lot of weird transitions going on in this video. Um, there's a lot of spirits that we already have, and like I said before, I just don't want to replay those battles because they're not new battles. We already have those spirits, and I'd rather commentate and advance more quickly throughout the story and commentate over the battles that for spirits that we don't have so like i said before there's gonna be some weird transitions like kind of going on right now and open fire cool um so we already have simon i believe i could be wrong on that one i believe it'd be either simon or richter but i'm pretty sure that we have simon oh so it's daisy sweet that doesn't make any sense whatsoever I mean, I, I guess you gotta put these characters where you can put them at, but still. And maybe they're kind of doing the whole counteracting of Damzo in distress, because, you know, Daisy's never really in distress, because she's never really been in a Super Mario or new Super Mario Brothers game, so... You know, Daisy's only been... I think Daisy was only created, of course, because all the plumbers had their counterparts, but I feel like Daisy was only created because of Mario Party, so... You only really see her in Mario, Mario Party and uh, the Mario Sports games. So I think it's kind of funny that we're even playing on Bowser's Castle for her battle. But, oh well, Daisy joins the battle. I think she's one of the top tier characters. I mean, she has to be if she's Peach's Echo. And Peach, I believe, was the top tier character but was recently nerfed so yeah i have no idea where she lies on the whole top tier versus non top tier list so i think she's probably still up there though all right so there goes daisy reaper and reap it kid Icarus series nice that's this is kind of weird all right let's do it Ganondorf team. So there's gonna be eight or nine Ganondorfs, it looks like. Alright, you are still not out. Oh, we just had to take out Ganondorf. Okay, got it. I thought we had to take out all of them. Maybe I should read the conditions. 
again. Reaper and Reap it. Is Reaper the little one or is he the big one? I have no idea. He's from Kid Icarus, so I'm kind of just throwing my hands up and just be like, I have no idea. Hit the switch. Okay, cool. We got some time to get up there. So it seems like it's just a path that we're following around because at some point we'll probably head over and get this chest of whatever it could be. Inspired from Bayonetta series. The enemy's physical attacks have increased power. The enemy starts the battle with a rocket belt. This should be easy. Team of Mewtwo of... Was it four? Okay. Of course it is. Oh, nice! I didn't think that heavy smash attack would get all, all of them, so sweet. Mummy Castlevania series, awesome. The enemy's throws have increased power. The enemy has super armor, but moves slower. Stamina battle. I actually like that. I don't know why. I like that spirit a lot. No. There we go. Alright, so they like to grab on to me, it looks like. And I didn't mean it in the way that I said it. There we go. Because they creep up slowly, so it's just like, just use my B, side B, and they'll just r run right into it, and that's what they did, so that was easy. Oh, nice! Okay, cool! I mean, assume I mean that there was going to be an opening regardless. Wario. Okay. All right. I guess that's it's kind of weird. That'd be hilarious if Simon and or Richter were not here. I would just been like, "Are you kidding me?" Wasted potential of not putting them in Dracula's Castle, a game where they are from Castlevania, like the Castlevania series. Yeah, Wario can eat his motorcycle and then he gets health back. But of course, we can always use it as a weapon against him. And yeah, he's done for. Wario joins the battle. He was my main before, Son before Sonic was unlocked in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I don't think I'm ever go going to go back to Wario, but at one point I played as Wario and I even uh, cosplayed as Wario at Super Smash Bros. No. Yeah, it was Super Smash Bros. Brawl Midnight Release. I remember that. Yeah, I don't have the photos with me, thank gosh. It was kind of an embarrassing costume, and my older brother, who dressed up as Mets tonight, we were the only people dressed up, so... Yeah, that was an embarrassing night. Because we figured that, oh, other people will be dressing up. No, we, 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 we thought wrong. No one else did. Um, and yeah, I mean, people thought it was cool. So... It was fun. The surrounding area has returned to its original state. Anything for Smash Brothers, dressing up as characters and all that kind of stuff, I think people would be a-okay with it. Zora, from the Legend of Zelda series, I'll see you guys at the end of this battle. So we got two enemies right here. I wonder if I can take them both out with one cannonball. Wow, Knuckle Joe, we don't have. I'm surprised by that. The enemy's punches and elbow strikes have increased power. The enemy's kicks and knee strikes have increased power. The enemy's physical attacks have increased power. Everything with Knuckle Joe has increased power. Not very surprised by that. Yeah, Ryu would probably be... Well, I would actually say Ken, since blonde hair, but uh, I guess Ryu is a good choice too. And of course he's going to show up. Oh, 
Oh, he was... Yeah. He's easy to take out in Kirby games, so I guess they kept that true to Smash Brothers as well, so... Oh, okay, cool. I was gonna say, I was really listening to the music and I really, really like that theme. And then now I just need to figure out which song it is. Knuckle Joe. Really surprised that he's an ace as well since he's not really like the big Kirby enemies, if that makes sense. All right, Silver Cannonball. So do we need two? All right, let's, let's find out. No, we just need one, nice. Killed literally two demons with one silver cannonball. Nice! 30 skill spheres. I have a lot of those, by the way. So here pretty soon we need to probably start assigning them to different skills. But before that, I'll see you guys at the end of this battle. Yeah, we're making our way through the castle quite quick. Well, okay, maybe not. Well, yeah, kind of. Oh, cool. So there's actually a... Oh, yeah, no, sorry. There was a boss over in the Sacred Land. I forgot. Sorry. I th thought there wasn't. Yeah, actually, we're kind of actually going through here quite quickly. Alright, okay. Hit this monster. Let's go through the cave. Now oh, we have to go back. Up the stairs. Then through the cave. The creature and flea man. Zap floor, the floor is electrified, the enemy is giant. And I don't think we have a spirit that can, um, I guess, shield us from electricity. Have we, I don't, I'm pretty sure we have gotten a spirit like one, but I don't remember which one it is. And of course, they would be wearing a hockey mask, and it's probably in reference of Jason. And Friday the 13th. Friday, bleh, Friday the 13th, so. Come on. I was gonna say, I mean, I can use my final smash, but he only has one more hit to him. The creature and flea man. <sighs> All right, next question. Which one's the creature and who's the flea man? Is the flea man Frankenstein looking or is the creature Frankenstein looking? Yeah, I don't know. Castlevania is another one of those franchises where I'm like, I have no idea what's happening. So, kind of playing some of these spirits and some of these stages and bosses, it's, it's actually kind of nice to know a little bit more about the lore, even though it's not that en enriching, like if I would have played it like the actual game. So, Ridley. Alright, this one kind of makes the most sense, I'm not going to lie, of him being here. I was going to say, this isn't too difficult, but I'm hanging on the edge over there a little too much. That was a nice uh, reflect on the lipstick item being thrown at him. Oh, get over here. I was gonna say he's gotta get knocked out or he's gonna screw me over with his final smash. Ridley joins the battle. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Ridley being here makes the most sense so so far. So 
In the next video, we're going to get farther into Dracula's castle. Maybe complete it? I have no idea. Hopefully. Until then, see you guys in the next video.